Hi everyone, it's Auntie Wendy here. Now, have you ever watched a movie and liked it so much that you had to tell everyone you knew about it? I recently watched the movie Encanto. Now, I loved this movie. I particularly liked the song, They Don't Talk About Bruno. Have you heard this song? Have you watched this movie? It's a great movie, isn't it, for those that've watched it? Now, I liked this movie so much that I told my sister about it. My sister told her friend about it. My sister's friend told her friend about it. And then my sister's friend's friend's friend told their friend about it. And the news just spread and spread and spread. Good news spread, doesn't it? Now, last week from Acts chapter 1, we learned that the good news of Jesus went from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria, to the ends of the earth. And the good news of Jesus spread. Now, this week, we're going to go for, go and dig into Acts chapter 2 and continue this story about how the good news of Jesus spread. Let's have a listen. In Acts chapter 1, the risen Lord Jesus appeared to his disciples many times. Jesus walked with them and talked with them and ate with them. Jesus told his disciples he was about to leave them, but he would not leave them alone. God had promised them a gift, the gift of his spirit. Jesus told them to stay in Jerusalem until they'd received God's special gift. Jesus then left them and went back up to heaven. Jesus' disciples went back to Jerusalem and stayed there just as Jesus had said. Not long after, Jesus' disciples were all together in the one room. Suddenly the room was full of the sound of rushing wind. Fire from heaven came down and separated into what looked like tongues. The tongues of fire came and rested on each disciple. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. Then each disciple began to speak in a different language. Now at that time, Jerusalem was full of people people from all over the world. The people had come to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost, a special feast to thank God for all the good gifts. Suddenly, people heard Jesus' disciples speaking in their language. The people were confused and said to each other, These men are from Galilee. How can they speak our language? We're from all over the world. Italy, Greece, Rome, Egypt, Malta. How can they speak our language? Some people thought Jesus' disciples had drunk too much wine. But Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, stood up and said, Listen to me, my friends. We're not drunk. It's too early in the morning for us to be drunk. God said his spirit would come, and his spirit has come. And God said to King David that his king would come. God's king is Jesus the same Jesus you killed. But God raised him back to life. We've seen him. Jesus is alive. Jesus is the risen Lord of the whole world. The people became afraid and cried out, What have we done? We've killed Jesus. We've killed God's King. What shall we do? Peter said to them, Repent. Stop going your way. Turn around and follow the risen Lord Jesus. Jesus will forgive you, and God's Spirit will live in you. That day, 3,000 people became followers of Jesus. Jesus kept his promise. The Holy Spirit was with Jesus' disciples, and they shared the good news of Jesus with everyone in Jerusalem. Kids, When we believe in Jesus, God also gives us his Holy Spirit so that we can know him as Lord and we can also spread the good news of Jesus to those around us. And isn't that lovely? Everyone who believes in Him receives forgiveness of sins through His name. Acts 10.43 
Everyone who believes in Him receives forgiveness of sins through His name. Acts 10.43 Everyone who believes in Him receives forgiveness of sins through His name. Acts 10.43